Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who loves us and watches over us, a God who unites us in his love, and he wants us to come together and be brothers and sisters in Christ. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes to Colossians chapter 3, beginning at verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. And as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your heart to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. You know, as I think about these words, I'm reminded of the fact that we're called to live as a family of God. We're called to live uh, united in Christ. We're called to live in service and in word uh, for our Lord Jesus Christ, to bring him glory. Uh, why is that important? It's important so that others understand how great it is to be part of the kingdom. Um, you know, as we think about life and, uh, you know, we'll go back to the book of uh, <clears throat> uh, Ecclesiastes and, uh, you know, some writings of the Old Testament, we can we can see where uh, at times life seems like it's just kind of dreary. Your life is just kind of moving along. At life, at times, maybe it doesn't make a difference. And yet it does uh, when we're serving God. It does when we're making the difference in the life of another person, when we're lifting them up or being lifted up as a family of God. Um, this world wasn't meant to be all alone and to live in isolation. Um I know some may disagree, but I'd much rather uh, not have much and have a family around me, have people around me and enjoy life uh, than to be rich beyond means and not have any friends or to not be able to enjoy it with other people. Um, I think there's this uh, reality that that in our in our culture in our humanity uh, we think that he who dies with the most toys wins as the old bumper sticker says and and the truth is it's just not true um, there's certainly I guess some benefits to that but I think it's a greater benefit to have people close to us to have uh, people that we're surrounded by that we adore the fact is we can't take it with us the fact is when this life on earth is done uh, we all will stand before God uh, and in the clothing of our bodies and then surrounded by our, our deeds, good or bad, uh, to, 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 to stand in judgment. Um, if Jesus Christ is Lord of our life and if we've uh, asked him into our hearts and repented of our sins, then his death has atoned for our sins and his, our sins are placed upon his back and we will be saved. If not, we will not be saved. We'll be separated from God for all eternity. And it doesn't matter how much money we had here on earth. It doesn't matter um, you know, we, how much things we had, what matters is, do we know Jesus? And did we make the most of this life? Did we do everything we could in this life to 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 celebrate this life and to, to be a joy to others and to help one another? Those are things that this is talking about. Again, whatever in word or deed, do it in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. That's our goal. That's my goal today. I want to do everything I do today, giving thanks to God, uh, celebrating who Jesus is, um, acknowledging that, that all that I have and all that I am comes from him. And I give God all the praise. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that you've called us to live together in unity as a family. It doesn't mean we always get along or always agree, but that we love one another. And that everything we do, we do in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, help us today uh, to strive to live that way. Help us, Lord, as we are going about our daily tasks. Help us, Lord, as people may frustrate us or even try to hurt us or all the things that may come. May we always be focused on who you are and what you mean to us. And Father, may that focus bring about other people recognizing their need for Jesus or wanting to have the peace that we have. Father, we know that life isn't always easy, but with you, life is better. Life is good. And so, Lord, thank you for the life that we have. And thank you for the brothers and sisters who celebrate this life with us. Uh, whether we have plenty or, or want, Father, when we stand together, we just give you the praise. And so, Lord, thank you. And I praise you. And I, I just offer all that I am in thanksgiving for the, the, the brothers and sisters in my life. Father, now we just, again, bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. I'm grateful that you're part of our family of God, at least watching these videos today. But if you don't have your own uh, family of God that you can be a part of, that you'll, you'll join us, whether you join us online, uh, on, our, on our Facebook Live pages, or, or through our YouTube channel, whatever the case. So just know you have family here, that we care about you, and we love you. Have a great day. God bless. Hope to see you again tomorrow.